Hi, I'm Juliet, and I'm a tutor in the Pilates school at Future Fit. I'm also a Pilates teacher and teacher trainer, and I've been running my own Pilates business for over 20 years. And at the start of lockdown, I moved my business entirely online. And there's quite a few things to consider here, both for and against. I've got lots of colleagues who could not wait to get back to face-to-face -face teaching, which indeed is, you know, has so many reasons for being a huge success. But for me personally, I've really enjoyed being online. It's given me the reach to a much wider audience. And I now teach people that I would never normally be able to reach geographically. I've got people across the whole of the UK. And I also have members in about seven different countries now who obviously I would never have been able to reach before. So this has been a fantastic way for me to build my business. There are a few things to consider. I regularly check in with health and safety. So I'm reminding people about verbal screening if there's any change to the health and well-being because I'm not seeing them face to face. And also to remind my members about a safe environment to work in. It's free of clutter, it's well air ventilated, they've got water, they you know, plenty of light, etc. And I do that on a very regular basis. I also have that in my terms and conditions when I email new members. So what I found worked best for me is I have a payment platform and I have a membership platform. So if somebody wants to join me, they go to my website and from there it says subscribe. They get an automatic response email giving them information on my classes and detailing the terms and conditions. So they can join there. I don't have to do anything. And I just get an email pop up telling me that I've got a new member. They receive a welcome email then that obviously I've written myself and it directs them to a, to a informed consent and park you physical activity readiness questionnaire on my website that they complete electronically that is, that is um, password protected and saved to meet data protection guidelines. So from that perspective, it's taking out a huge amount of work for me. I can keep promoting on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, on face-to-face -face events, and I can get new members without having to do any of the admin that I used to do. Now, the biggest change for me going online is that now I earn when I'm not working. So previously, I would teach my classes in blocks of six or maybe eight weeks and then we might have a break or we might take a few weeks off during the summer. Whereas now I keep my classes going because what I say is for what I charge for my classes, pro rata, they're getting more, bug, more bang for their buck than they were before. I teach seven to eight live classes a week, but I also do a lot of recorded classes. I always advise in advance. So on our calendar, I always let people know when it's going to be recorded. I then for data protection will pin me, which means only I can be seen on the screen, record the class. I then have a program that I use where I store all my content. So the way it works is if you join me as a member, you then have access to a calendar, live calendar, and you can click on the class you want to do and you can join any and all classes. Click on that class and it tells you what you're going to do. Today we're going to be working with magic circles. Today we're going to be doing rollers or, or whatever. And then it will then also say if I'm going to be recording and you'll then just join the Zoom link and come into the meeting and I can see everybody on the screen and every can chat and see each other. And then once we start, as I say, then I have everyone on mute, which means that there's only me that's visible. So for me, this has been a really successful way to grow my business because I've also got the recorded classes as well as, as I say, pro rata in the classes across the year means that if I take a few days off, I will still, I will still have those subscriptions because when people join, they can join on any day of the month. Whereas historically, if I talk for six weeks or eight weeks, everybody would subscribe at the start of that block and then the next block. And what they might just say they're going away for on a holiday and they won't come back until a couple of blocks down the line. Whereas this way is a recurring payment. So they may get seven or eight classes a week for six weeks, eight weeks, 10 weeks. Then I might take a few days off, but they've still subscribed and it's still continuing. And then I can remind them that they have access to the library of recorded content as well. So their payment is online. Their subscription is online. 
They, they go into the calendar and they jump into the classes just with a click of a button. So it has taken a huge amount of the admin side away from me, as well as, as I say, storing the, the park use lifestyle questionnaires. I get an email reminder when somebody's completed that. I can have a look at it, read it, and then I know that it's safely stored. So it has really cut down on my time. Also, it means that I can get guest teachers, which I do quite regularly, to come and cover for me or to do extras. I've invited, I've had osteopaths, I've had physiotherapists, I've had people working on meditation. They can come in and do like a specialist class, which I wouldn't otherwise have had, had the opportunity to do. But I can add those in as, as extra content and um, really sort of the icing on the cake for people getting even more for their for their membership so that's been a hugely successful thing to do and as i remind people even if they're going on holiday maintenance is better than starting from scratch so they may go on holiday and they may jump in and do a class maybe once during the week that they're away or twice during the week while they're away or what have you and it just means that they can stay on tick over and all they need is their phone and they can join the class from wherever they are so for me online has been a, a very successful I think you have to work much harder at how you present and keep people's keep people's attention. And I can see a surprising amount and I will flip between demoing and then jumping up and going up to the screen. Now, what I tend to do <clears throat> is I can mirror from my phone or my laptop onto my TV. So that's sometimes what I do, especially if I know I've got a very large class, I've got a much bigger screen. But it's surprising how much you can see. Get up to the screen, you can observe people and then come back and then do the class. So for me, it's been a huge, a huge success. But of course, there are always going to be people who want to be physically in a class and face to face. The other thing I would say that has been a benefit of teaching online is that I, I look at it as convenience. That you open your laptop, your tablet, your, your phone, whatever, throw your mat down, do your class and you're gone, that's it. There's no travel, there's no finding parking, there's no getting stuck at the traffic lights, there's no starting to chat in the corridor on your way back out to the car. So if you're somebody that's a little bit uh, um, tight with your weekly schedule, that can be another benefit. If you found this video interesting and helpful, I hope you have and found it informative, then why don't you subscribe to our YouTube channel as we're going to be posting lots more content like this in the coming months.